Imagine never coaching a sport and then taking it to a national championship level 10 times. That is the unique story of Greg Marsden. You know, at first I didn't know if I wanted to coach. I really was really excited about teaching. Once I got involved in coaching, after a couple of years, I realized it was an opportunity to kind of be the ultimate teacher, help them in that process from coming in as a freshman and developing not only athletically, but personally as well. Greg found the perfect partner to build the lives of athletes and a successful program in one of his star gymnasts, Megan Marsden. It became obvious through my experiences on the team that he had kind of created an incredible recipe for success and also teaching some really good life lessons through the sport of gymnastics. My experience was um, kind of invaluable to me and I thought I want to help other athletes, other young women come through this program and experience what I experienced. I wanted them to come away very independent young women who could go out and make their own way and never feel like they had to depend on somebody else. For most gymnasts, there is no professional career. So among all the time perfecting floor exercises to balance beam routines, Greg and Megan placed a heavy focus on academics for their student athletes. You know, you're here to get a degree. Gymnastics comes a close second to that in terms of your priorities. and. Um, that's important, we would tell their parents that. We're at a university. <laughs> I mean, that, that really should be the priority. As the championships piled up and the accolades accumulated, the Marsdens were quick to direct attention back to their gymnasts. The athlete is the one that's out there actually doing it. I always felt like we were the facilitators and it was really their thing, uh, their team, uh, their accomplishments, and, and that's what should be highlighted. The biggest impact that they had uh, on me as a coach and a human being is their selflessness. They want to promote the athletes first. Watching them be the legends that they are and then be so humble about it, speechless. With all the national attention they have given the University of Utah, the hand they had on its invitation to join the Pac-12, and the lives they've influenced, they humbly acknowledge what Utah has done for them. I came here for this environment and fell in love with it. And the university, you know, really embraced us. Uh, we always felt supported. It never entered my mind that I wanted to be somewhere else. I am a Ute through and through, and, and that has been built with my time here. Tom at times has to tell me how lucky I am that I've been at one place. He's been at four or five, so he's had to learn a new mascot. And I just can't even imagine being anything but a Ute, and I will forevermore be that. You will find no two greater ambassadors for this university, champions of women's athletics, champions for this university, than Greg and Megan Marston.